Find D if E46 is the midpoint of segment DF and F07. Right, so it's a little different than the last one. We're not finding a midpoint. We're actually finding um, one of the endpoints. So I'm going to draw a coordinate plane just to kind of help us visualize this a little bit better. Um, if we have F at 0, 7, so it's somewhere kind of like up here, right? That is point F. And then um, E is 4, 6. So E is kind of like here-ish. And then we want to figure out what D is. So you can kind of approximate in a way, and if you draw a segment from here to here, it's going to probably be about the same amount over this way. And that is your point D that we're looking for. Right, D is equal to who knows, but that's one of our endpoints, right? Because we have the whole segment D, F, and we're given F's coordinates, we're given E's coordinates, the midpoint, right? E again is the midpoint of that segment. So this would be congruent to this, right? Each of those pieces would be congruent to each other. Just to, again, help us get a little bit of visual um, with this problem. So we're gonna use that midpoint formula, right? Midpoint is, um, equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2 and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that formula to help me create an equation, a couple equations um, from our points that we're given. All right, so our midpoint E that we have, right, is the point four six. That's E. E is our midpoint. And then F zero seven that we're given, it kind of goes into that, right? It's equal to F could be um, like our X one, Y one. And then that means that D, what we're trying to find, would be like our X two, Y two. Okay, so going back to our formula, we have 4, 6, our midpoint, and we have our one of our endpoints, F, we're going to call that X1, Y1, and D, we don't know, is X2, Y2. So let's go ahead and plug in those coordinates of F, and for X, Y, and X1 and Y1, so 0 plus X2, we don't know, over 2 and our y1 is 7 right? plus y2 we don't know divided by 2. So you might look at that and be like well there's two variables in this and it's got commas and parentheses what's going on here? Well remember these are actually two different equations kind of put together into one thing because 4 is the x coordinate that you get from doing this math. 6 is the y coordinate that you get from doing that math. So then what we can do is we can make an equation. We can make two different equations where we have our x's and our y's. So I'm going to say this is our x midpoint equation, and this is our y. Oops, that almost looks like an S x, doesn't it? That is our y midpoint equation. Okay, so for our x midpoint, we have 4. Right, 4 is equal to our x coordinate comes from taking 0 from our x coordinate of our f plus x sub 2, our x coordinate of d, we don't know, and dividing it by 2. And then our y coordinate of our midpoint, 6, comes from taking 7 our y coordinate of f and adding with it y sub 2 our y coordinate of d we don't know and dividing by 2 
and now we can see the two equations that we have to solve. Now, how do we solve these equations? Let's look one at one at a time, right? If we look at our x midpoint equation, um, we could actually simplify 0 plus x sub 2 because 0 plus anything doesn't change it at all. Okay, so if we do that, I'm going to do this in a different color, we would have 4 equals x sub 2 divided by 2. Because right, again, 0 plus x sub 2 doesn't change it. Then what we need to do is think about how do we get x sub 2, which you could really, we could just erase that x sub 2, and we could just call it x. Right? Just call it x. Just call it y. That way it's not so confusing. And then if we're trying to solve for that x, what we need to do is get rid of that 2. How do we cancel out that 2? What's going on with that 2? That 2 is dividing with x. So how do you cancel out dividing? You do the opposite. And the opposite of dividing is multiplying. So we're going to multiply, multiply both sides by 2. And if we multiply both sides by 2, right, the 2 that's dividing cancels out. And 4 times 2 is 8. So our x value is 8. Now if we look at our other equation over here, 7 plus y, we can't simplify, right? It's not like 0 where it just disappears. 7 doesn't just disappear. And 7 and y are not like terms, so you cannot combine them. So we actually need to take care of this dividing by 2 first. You do not want to subtract the 7 over because that's not just a 7. It's 7 divided by 2. You have to think about the order of operations that are happening here. Um, and that 2 is dividing with both of those. So we need to actually get rid of that first. And you have like, it's like you have um, parentheses kind of around this. So we need to make sure that we get rid of the division before we take care of the parentheses. So we're going to multiply by 2 first. Multiply both sides by 2. And we could have done that on the first um, equation as well. We could have multiplied from two by 2 from the get-go, and it would have been fine. 2 times 6 is 12. And then the 2 times the divided by 2 here cancels out, and you're left with just 7 plus y. And now, because that division is gone, we just have 7 adding with y, we can subtract the 7 from both sides, and we get 5. So 5 is equal to y. So our ordered pair that we were trying to find for d was x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 5. So if we look at this, we can definitely see that our x yeah, should get bigger and our y should get smaller. We went from a y of 7 to a y of 6, so a y of 5 makes sense. It looks like it's a little bit lower, but that just shows you how imperfect my visual is. But we see that our y's do get smaller from 7 to 6 to 5, and our x's get bigger from 0 to 4 to 8. So you could almost do maybe some of that math in your head as well. Like, well, my x is, you know, 4 away here, so I'm going to get 4 away farther. And I'm 4 away to the left, 4 away to the right. My y goes down by 1, so I'm going to go down by 1. And that's something that we will talk a little bit more about soon. But our final answer is the point D as the ordered pair um, coordinates of 8, 5. And again, you could double check this on Desmos. You could, you know, if you graph it on there, that visual is going to be a lot better than what we have here. And you can see that, oh, E, 4, 6 really is the midpoint between 0, 7 and 8, 5.